Are you excited for your Japan trip but realize that because of COVID, you can no longer travel to Japan? What? Are you sick of your local Japanese snacks? Or surviving on that last bit of authentic Japanese snack? Fear not, introducing Boksu. For $40 to $50, you can discover Japan through snacks and have authentic Japanese snack boxes delivered to your door. Hi guys, my name is Johnston and for today I'm gonna do an unboxing. As you guys have seen introduced by Miss J, I'm gonna do Boksu. So here is my Boksu and also this is proudly sponsored to you by Boksu. Boksu offers a gourmet journey through Japan delivering a different box every month. So in this box, there are like 22 to 24 different yummy goodies and treats. Majite! They can range from like candies to teas to snacks and I'm really really excited to see what's inside, okay? It's such a wonderful Christmas gift. So thank you so much, Boksu. So I'm gonna start opening the box and I'm so excited. And as you know, per my track record, I have been the most um elegant kind of reviewer. So I may not be the best at reviewing things. So I'm just gonna open and this is what I have. Okay, so there is the seasons of Japan. They are so elaborate. They give you like whatever that's inside, like um, the candies, the snacks, where are they from, what they made up. Look at this, guys. I already see some things that I have no idea what they are. So let's count how many snacks are there, shall we? So firstly, there's two organic yen mai cha. Two of these don don yaki. Have this black sesame taiko stick potato super mucho plum matcha chocolate stick cake. Actually, have a caramel apple biscuit. Seaweed tempura with sudachi. Uni rice crackers. It's a puku puku thai. There are two edamame sambe. Look at two mochi dangos. There is a yuzu sake candy. These are like white strawberry candies. This is a 20th century pear snack. Oh, these are the Hokkaido red bean donuts. Lastly, there are two mochi pas. So I've counted a total of 22 snacks and I'm gonna try them one by one right now. So I'm trying this thick potato first that is in plum flavor. So this is how it looks like. I'm gonna try. I think this is a really addictive flavor because Normally it's very greasy, but this is sour and salty. It feels very guilt-free and I feel like I can finish this. Yabai, yeah, yabai. Yeah, you can definitely taste the umeboshi and this is really nice and yummy. Next, I'm gonna try the don don yaki. So this is senbei in tonkatsu sauce. There's quite a lot of them as you can see over here. So let's just try. Mmm. Because you no know, tonkatsu has that little like barbecue kind of sauce kind of tasting. That's a little like a bittersweet fragrance, and I really like it so much. I can feel the tonkatsu, and it's not like cheap tonkatsu. It's like those that with good quality pork, and this is really really yummy. I have never imagined tonkatsu on senbei. This is a wonderful pairing. Next, I'm gonna try the seaweed tempura. This has citrus, and I'm not really a big fan of citrus, but previously that umeboshi potato has kind of sold me. There is this seaweed tempura right now, and there's quite a lot of them. And I'm just gonna try. Wow! It's a bit sour. It does leave your taste buds tingling, but hmm. It's so weird. Why, why are sour things such a great pairing for snacks? This has a very refreshing, like, fruity, citrusy taste. And I never imagined it on my seaweed. And the flavour is not soft at all. It just bursts in your mouth, okay? Let me try the edamame senbei. Okay, today it's all about exploration. I've never tried any kind of snacks like that. Edamame senbei. Tonkatsu senbei. Wow. Whew. Just one stick like this. Wow, it smells smells really good. Wow. Okay, let me just try. Mmm. Really? From a bean? Okay, this tastes like wang wang. Okay, I don't know if you guys know wang wang, but this rice cracker from Asia. It has lots of like you know flavoring on top. And the bean smell is really strong. It feels healthier. Less MSG-ish. I've never imagined edamame in a senbei. It turns out really really well, okay? Okay, I'm very excited for this. I'm gonna try the uni cracker, okay? Let's see if this one is authentic tasting. So there's a decent amount, not really a lot. So I'm just gonna try. 
Wow. Okay, you know how like uni has that little, I don't know, that little fishy smell but not in the most unpleasant way. I can taste this from this biscuit and it's so weird like, uh, I guess it's trying to mimic that smell. It's very successful, I would say. I guess I'm done with the savouries. I'm going to go into dessert. Okay, so let me start off with mochi dango. This is super duper cute and there's three different colors. It looks like there's a lot of sugar. Okay, let me go with the green one. A lot of sugar. Okay, there's no filling. Mm. The green one is apple, which I'm kind of pleasantly surprised because I thought that there wouldn't be any flavoring to it. All right now, I'm really curious so as to what these two flavors are. Okay, let me try the strawberry looking one. So, I suppose it's strawberry. Mmm, that is strawberry. I uh, know. The last one, I don't know, this is the most basic bitch looking. I can't really tell. I think. If it's a flavor, it will be called original, I guess. But yeah, it's really yummy. Let's try Hinako Mochi Pass. Okay. So this is how one of them look like. The rest are like this. So I'm just gonna try. Oh my god. Mmm. Okay. Nobody told me. Literally, it melts in your mouth. Hontoni? And it is like chestnut powder. It's so yummy. Mm. It feels like I'm eating a chestnut flavored club. Okay, so this is something I'm really excited. Okay, Aomori apple. Aomori is very famous for their apple. This is a caramel apple biscuit. So this is the entire biscuit. I mean, look at this. It's like half of my face. Okay, like one third. Okay, <laughs> I have a big face. I just gonna bite. Wow, oh my god, this is like deluxe cookie with apple and caramel. It would taste so good with cold milk right now. This is so amazing guys, I swear. Next, I have this matcha chocolate cake. So this is a freaking cake, guys. Nani? I'm not a big fan of matcha, so I have no idea. Uji Kyoto's matcha, so here we are at Kyoto. So let's just try. It's very moist, as you can see, and okay, it's a decent amount. Mm. It's a very dense sponge cake. I would say the flavors of matcha is not very strong. Sato, but the red bean really steals the show. I have Hokkaido red bean donut, guys. So I left Kyoto and now I'm in Hokkaido, so huge ass donut. Let's just see how it tastes like. Mmm. Okay, the red bean paste, right? It's so flavorful. I think it's one of the better red bean paste I've ever tasted. And also the coating, like the way they fried it, it's not very oily. This is such a great snack on a cold day like now. The show. Next, I have this Poco Poco Thai. So this is a chocolate taiyaki, like this. Give it a bite. It's like a decent chocolate quality and a crispy wafer, so it is like a warm version of Kit Kat, like the quality of the chocolate that you feel I mean. I'm gonna finish the rest later. Okay, so this is something that I'm very excited about. This is the white strawberry and you know how expensive white strawberries are in Japan. I'm gonna open this up. Oh my god. Literally a white strawberry inside, guys. Nani? I thought it was gonna be a chocolate, but can you guys see? Like, that was not what I was expecting. I thought it was just like some cheap ass white chocolate coated in a strawberry, but this is a white strawberry. Okay, I'm gonna bite into it and see what's inside. Mmm, how? What? I'm so confused, like, it tastes very chocolatey. But at the same time, it's like a dehydrated white strawberry. How did they do this? I have no idea, but this is so worth it. Like, this is crazy. White strawberries are like super expensive. Trust me, guys. Go, go, go it. But I have this Kumamoto snack, and this is like super duper cute. It's a black sesame. It is so huge, and it's kind of scary looking, not gonna lie. I really like the crunch and the sesame is really fragrant. It's not like your usual black sesame, I guess. This is what makes Kumamoto black sesame so special. So this one is something that I'm really looking forward to. This is a pair from March Biscuit and this is from Totori. It's mixed with white chocolate. So it's really like the white lovers that kind of like, like snack. So I'm gonna try and I think this will be delicious. 
Mmm. I never knew that pear would taste so nice with cheese and white chocolate. This is very unique to me actually. Final sweet that I have is yuzu sake. So I figured that this would be the best. Worth the last because um, I'm having like a sugar rush right now. So here is the yuzu candy. It's just yellow drop. Mm. It tastes exactly like the yuzu sake that I have. Like this brand. And I love the sake. I always buy it. So convenient and I super love it. Okay, the last thing I want to try is again my tea. Having all these sweets and crackers, you, you will like something to go together with. And there's two packets of again my tea. So in a sachet, so I'm gonna dip it into hot water. So it's really, really rich. Like once I dip it into the hot water, you can really tell. So you can see that there are like roasted rice beans on this as well, and brown bits. So these are the roasted rice. And let's just have a taste test. If you just had a long day at work and just drinking this gamai tea and having your snacks, chilling, waiting for your weekends to come, I think this is a really wonderful feeling. So that's the It really felt as if I went to Japan in an hour and tasted everything. Me, as someone who is a sweet tooth lover, getting white strawberries and a freaking cake in a box, that is something that's really unexpected, guys. I thought they are just snacks, okay? They are not just ordinary snacks. They are like uniquely cool snacks that I've never seen off, okay? The combinations and the taste is just mind-blowing. You guys should really order a box and taste it for yourself. Just for my viewers, I have a 10% code, so if you check out with Johnston10, you can get 10% off your beer and you'll save so much money. I can't further like elaborate my gratefulness for this. I can have so many snacks from Japan which I hugely miss. Okay, I really wish I could travel in COVID. So if you guys are like me, if you love Japanese snacks, this will not disappoint. Join the Boksu community. Do remember to order one for yourself, for your friends or your family. And I hope you guys enjoy your snacks together with your friends and family. So this is like one of my other reviews that I don't usually do. So if you enjoyed this video, do give me a like. And also comment down below maybe what type of reviews I should do in the future. Remember to join my YouTube family, subscribe to me and on the notification bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!